Hello and welcome to this video on deploying the new mobile app via a mobile device management or MDN backend. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about how you can deploy the iOS app using the mobile iron admin portal. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can deploy the app. And then secondly, I'm going to show you how you can pre-configure the app to make it um, a bit easier for the users to start using the app. Now note that this video applies to the latest version of Enterprise Alert, namely Enterprise Alert 2016, and the new mobile app has been designed to work with this version. If you are still using an older version of the app, then you can still connect to Enterprise Alert 2016, but you will not be able to pre-configure the app uh, using uh, the MDM backend. So let me start by showing you where you can find the app in the iTunes Store. So if we go into the App Store on the mobile device, then you simply need to type in Dadduck. And there you can see uh, two apps showing up. Um, the um, first result refers to the old app. So what you would want to do is to go and install the new app. So the one with the title Dadduck Enterprise Alert. So I'll go and install that. Right, so there you can see that the app has been installed. And what I would like to show you is what the first access is like. So I'm quickly going to go and open the app. And there you can see that the app is prompting the user to allow push notifications. And this is really something which the user should allow in order to be able to enjoy the full feature set which Enterprise Alert has to offer. So if push notifications are not allowed, then the user will not be able to receive any on-call duty reminders and will not be able to receive any alert notifications when the app is closed. So I'll therefore go and allow push notifications. Now what you can see here on the first screen is a public URL which the user needs to enter in order to be able to access the Enterprise Alert backend. And unfortunately, this URL is empty by default. So if the user does not know the URL, then they will not be able to use the app. Now I suppose what you could do is to send out an email to all potential users of the app with instructions on how to download the app or install the app from the iTunes store um, together with a back-end link which the users would then need to copy and paste into the app. But this is not typically something you would want to do in a corporate scenario where you maybe have dozens, hundreds or maybe even thousands of users. So in this kind of a corporate scenario you would typically use a MDM backend to bulk distribute the app um, as well as to pre-configure this public URL over here. Now note that any apps which are directly installed from the iTunes store um, are so-called unmanaged apps, so apps which are not directly managed by a MDM backend. And what this means is that the unmanaged app cannot be pre-configured from the MDM backend. So this means that the public URL cannot be set. So in order to pre-configure this app, I'm going to have to go and delete it and then redeploy it from the mobile iron or MDM backend. So let me first of all show you how you can register the app in the mobile iron backend. So you'll need to navigate to apps and then you need to select iOS for the platform and then simply click on add. Once a wizard has opened, then you need to select um, recommended app for the distribution type. And then we need to enter in a iTunes store ID. So let me show you where you can find this ID. So um, you'd go into the Enterprise Alert portal, then into your personal profile, and then uh, select the get the mobile app tile. Then select download my mobile apps. So 
So that basically downloads a zip file. If you then go and open the zip file, then you should see a iOS folder as well as a readme text document. So go and open that document and then you can copy the ID from over here. Then select next and next again. And then what you can optionally do is to provide an app icon which will then show up for the Enterprise Alert app in the Mobile Irons Apps at Work app. And you can find this icon in the zip file which we downloaded. So this file over here. So I'll go and select that file. And then I'll select next. And then I'll finish the wizard. So there you can see that the Enterprise Alert app has been registered in the Mobile Iron backend portal. Now before we go and configure the app, we need to give it a label to which it should be applied. So select the app, then select Actions, and then Apply to Label. So I'll go and select iOS. Now what I would like to do next is to show you how we can pre-configure the public URL which I showed you earlier. So navigate to policies and configs and then select add new, iOS and then managed app config. So I'll go and give the configuration a name, so for example Dadak. And then we also need to enter in, enter in a bundle ID. And you can also find this bundle ID in the README document, which we opened earlier. So com.dadoc.enterpriseAlert. So I'll go and copy that. And then what we also need to do is to upload a so-called plist um, file. Now before we go and upload the file, you will need to go and edit the file. So also in the downloaded zip file. Um, in order to set the public URL. So you can just open this file with a notepad. And there you can see the public URL which you would need to modify. So basically this URL would correspond to the URL which you have configured on the user authentication page. So under system and then user authentication. And then I'm talking about this field over here, public URL to selected application in IAS. So once you've gone and configured the PLIST file with your public URL, then you can go and upload the PLIST file. So I'll go and save the config and there you can see that the config has been added to the system. Now what we also need to do is um, to apply the config to the same label that we applied to the app. So also IRS. So that's basically all that you will need to configure in the mobile Iron admin portal. The rest is basically left over to the users who need to first of all go and register their devices with Mobile Iron. So the users would have um, downloaded the Mobile Iron client and registered their device with, with this app, so the red app over here. And then this app automatically goes and installs the Apps at Work app, which we will then use to install the Enterprise Alert app. So I'll go and open the Apps at Work app. Then go and select Dadak Enterprise Alert and then Request. Then select Install. So once the app has been installed, then let's take a look at what the first access experience looks like now. So select OK to allow um, push notifications 
and there you can see that the public URL has been automatically set. After that, the user will have to enter in their credentials as usual. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this video.